think first of all, you look at what, what moves you, what touches your heart, your soul. Um, I know the different materials. I know how to work in oil or watercolor or um, acrylic. So I, of course, look at which ones are done well, which ones have good composition, color, light. Everybody likes something different and that's okay. So I may pick something that's different that, um, from what another judge would pick. And, and that's okay. And everybody that um, is in a show like this should keep being in shows because you never know when you'll get picked. Oh, it's fun. I think it's fun. I love to see um, what people do. And some of it will move me and they will get the awards. <laughs> I've been part of this organization for well over 15 years um, on its board in various capacities. Um, and I think going to the presidency was just uh, a natural following of the various tasks that I had done. Um, I'll be leaving the presidency at the end of December and Nancy Travis will be taking over as the next president of the WSA. Well, the Wealthy Society of Artists one of our main missions is to support our, our membership and to bring arts to the community, and that is through our member shows, as well, of our, as well as the artist demos that we host probably three or four times a year. Obviously, during the pandemic, we've been unable to host the in-person demos, and, but we're hoping that in the next six months, we'll look to other ways to be able to do some of those kinds of demos and obviously when our lives resume more normal patterns that we'll get back to having the in-person demo artist demos that are, have always been open to the community. Uh, the WSA is a nonprofit art organization. Uh, our goal here in Wellesley and really specifically uh, the Metro West of Boston is that it's our goal to promote artists as well as art in the community. So as president, you want to make sure that we're reaching those goals as best we can. Oh, it's wonderful. The support that you get um, from other artists, you learn about um, perhaps new materials, different ways of using them. Um, it's wonderful to be around other artists because you get inspired by what they do, even if it has nothing to do with what you do. You see a different use of, of, of color. Um, it's, it's the support that I think everybody needs. One of our main missions is to support our, our membership and to bring arts to the community and that is through our member shows as well, of our, as well as the artist demos that we host probably three or four times a year. Obviously during the pandemic we've been unable to host the in-person demos and, but we're hoping that in the next six months we'll look to other ways to be able to do some of those kinds of demos and obviously when our lives resume more normal patterns that we'll get back to having the in-person demo, artist demos that are, have always been open to the community. This type of organization, we really all work together. Um, many of the things we do are not just one person's um, ability, but, but all of us. The library has set up a very good procedures for uh, following, uh, you know, masking up and maintaining social distance so that we feel that people can safely view the show and, um, and enjoy it. Uh, the WSA is looking forward to having a, a winter show, which we have not had in the, in the past. And uh, this is, again, going to be an online show, which will be viewed on our website. And we have actually a theme for this winter show. It's called The Good Earth and we felt that that was um, a theme that a lot of artists would be able to respond to. Um, everybody who doesn't do art should try it. Everybody, you can learn it, you know, take a class, um, practice, have fun. Don't worry that you should be an expert already and get your work out there at, at all levels.